Back here on the odds couple with pick number two. I'm going to Buffalo, where the Dolphins are taking on the Bills. Who do you think I'm going to take? Ho oh, ho! Look at the shirt, baby! Let's go, Dolphins! Miami Dolphins! Look, the Dolphins have a very tough schedule at the beginning part of the year. After this first game against Buffalo, they've got the Vikings, the Jets, the Patriots, and the Ravens. They better win this game. They have to win this game. They will win this game. It was a lousy preseason for the Dolphins. What's good news? The Bills are worse. They got one player in C.J. Spiller, and that's it. The Dolphins are only a three-point road favorite here. They'll find a way to win this game by at least a touchdown. I'll take the Dolphins, minus the three in Orchard Park. A homer pick or a real pick, Sid? Real pick. Real pick. It's I like a giant that. band just because I have the shirt. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my second pick in the NFL, there's a lot of home dogs in the card this week. In fact, eight of them to be exact. I'm going to go with number two this particular week, the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to grab them plus the points against the Green Bay Packers. And I look at this football game this way. Yes, it's Donovan McNabb out, Kevin Cobb in. But remember, Kevin Cobb was hand-picked, hand-groomed by Andy Reid. He comes from a coaching family. He's done nothing but lived in a spread offense, which is exactly fits the M.O. of the Philadelphia Eagles in this football game. And I look at this. I look at the Philadelphia Eagles as a football team that played in more playoff games last decade than any team in the NFC, 18. The defense is with this football team. They haven't forgot about that. I'll play... Eagles plus the points in this game. Okay, I like it. We'll come back with our third and final pick and wrap things up on the odds couple of the NFL edition right after this.